Good morning, everybody. Welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori, and today I've got my keto haul. And if you see my total, I came in under budget at $35.90. Woohoo! I am trying to save up for a vacation next year, so I'm just going to cut where I can. Uh, but let's go over with you what I bought, and then I'll tell you what I'm making this week. But here we go. I spent $3.50 at my farm stand, $0.98 cents at Target. Wait till you see that deal. Uh, $30.42 at Aldi and a dollar at the Dollar Tree. All right, let's get this out of the way. So first, the farm stand. I got a green tomato. I love fried green tomatoes. And for keto, I use Parmesan cheese and a little bit of almond flour, and it works out well. I got a cucumber for my salads for the week, part of my meal plan, and a pepper for my lunches this week. Um, I am doing stuffed portobello mushrooms. I'm making lasagna stuffed, and I will cook those today. So I grabbed three packages of the portobello caps. I grabbed some whole milk ricotta. Um, these were $2.19. I think this was $2.79. I don't remember all my prices today. I grabbed some sour cream. I'm going to be making some cheesecakes, I think. Um, Parmesan cheese for some of this will go into the lasagna. I got some eggs for breakfast, hard boiled eggs and cheese, and then baking. I'm going to have salad with my um, lasagna. So I grabbed two spring mix. That should be good for the week. Um, at the Dollar Tree, I bought some hunts. I've never tried this before. The reason I picked it up, A, it's a dollar, and I think it might be 98 cents at Kroger, but it's the sugar is is under the less than 2%. So that's good. There's hardly any sugar, but there is sugar. So when I got back to Aldi and I read this, which is a pesto, I may use this as my sauce. Less carbs for the same serving. So this has four carbs for a quarter of a cup, and this has... Um, well, eight carbs for a half cup. So it's the same carbs, but there's zero sugar in here. It might mix the two together. We'll see. Cream cheese for my for my cheesecake. I got some cream for my coffee. I only got two pork rinds. I'm doing good there. And then I grabbed these. It's baked cheese. If you see this, it is $3.19, which is a little expensive, but there's zero carbs, zero sugars. And they're good on salads. Oh, my lunch bags. So I grabbed two. I got Asiago and Parmesan. It was at the checkout. So that's what I bought today. And like I said, here in a minute, we'll make the stuffed portobello mushroom caps and get those in the oven. I hope you enjoy this and you have a good morning. Now, step one is cleaning the mushroom. So I take this stump out of the middle. Here, maybe you can see, no, not really, but I just take the middle out. And then if you can see up in here, these black gills, I take those out as well. Um, they're kind of woody and I don't like the texture. So I got rid of them. Just scrape them out, throw them away. And then put them in your pan. Depending on how many you're making, it's a deep pan. I have a 9 by 13. I'm going to cover this with aluminum foil for the first 30 minutes so the cheese on top does not um, burn while the sausage is cooking because we're using raw breakfast sausage. I'm using breakfast. You can use Italian sausage. Step two is messy. Um, what you can do is buy Italian sausage links, mild or hot, whatever you like, and um, take them out of the skins. Or you can just buy pre-made sausage. I have this, and I like the flavor to it. So this is what I'm gonna use. Oop, that is too much. Too much sausage. Um, and then what I'm doing is stuffing it down inside the, the top of the mushroom and getting it all down in there. I want it to bake in this mushroom and really fill this with flavor. And whatever sausage I have left, I'll just cook. It's not a big deal. I'll eat it this week. So I just take what amounts to a large meatball, really, and get it down in there. If I want more, each because each mushroom is different, I can't tell you exactly how much meat to stick down in here. You just have to kind of decide how much you'd like. I'm going to do that for all of these. And then I will bring you back and we will you do the ricotta, the sauce that's going to go on top. 
as well as um, the mozzarella and we'll cover it and bake it on 350. I don't know how long it's gonna take to be quite honest with you, I've never made this before. It's kind of a Franken recipe, I've seen a few. I'm gonna do it my way, that's just how I roll. And let's just kind of make it work. So what I'm gonna do right now is finish stuffing these and I'll mix the ricotta and be right back. We have all the mushrooms stuffed. What I did is took a heaping tablespoon of the tomato pesto and I added it to about two tablespoons of the tomato sauce. In here I have one egg. I have a quarter of a cup of shredded parmesan and some of the ricotta. Since this is not a full lasagna, I don't need a ton of all the different ingredients. So we're gonna whip this together. And then I'm gonna stuff the shells and then we're gonna top them mozzarella but you want to now the recipe I read you didn't put an egg in but other recipes I've read for lasagna you do put an egg in so I'm putting an egg in I don't know but there we have it my ricotta mixture and I think what the egg will do is make it hold its shape a little better so what it will look like for this this step because I don't want everything kind of melting out and oozing out of the mushroom, you know? You know what I'm saying? So we'll do this step here, which is really just putting... Look, Alex, we don't bite. I'm not sure why he just bit my calf, but he really wants my attention because he's he wants food. <laughs> Oven's ready. I have the oven on 350. And that... Um, so I'm gonna bake these, like I said, covered for the first 30 minutes, and then we'll see after that. Just wanna make sure everybody is on board with some of this ricotta filling, and it will bake down when the sausage bakes down, and everybody will get nice and juicy. And the mushroom will cook, which is, you know, ideal because we're making it stuff. But more importantly, we want the sausage to cook. Hey, what a good guesser I am. Because that's it. Let me just put the last of it on this one here. Now, I'm not doing a ton of this tomato sauce. One, it's carby, and two, it's really liquidy. So I just really want some tomato flavor, not necessarily swimming in tomato like a lasagna would be. Um, pretty good guesser here too. Um, and that way, again, I don't want it super messy. I have to take this to work. But I'm sure a lot of this will cook out as well. This one I always seem to miss a little bit extra on. Oh, let's get you out here. I'm gonna feed you, baby. This cat. Last thing, the mozzarella. And then, I don't know that I need a ton of mozzarella, but it'll melt down in there. And it's cheese, you know, like cheese is good. And what I'm gonna, my plan is 30 minutes uncovered, or covered, and then I'll cover it to allow the cheese to kind of get melty and brown. But this will stop, hopefully, the cheese from burning before the sausage is cooked is kind of my goal. And I don't mind if cheese gets down on the pan because it'll just get on the bottom of the mushroom. And that is everybody. So what we'll do is cover it. Some foil. Stick it in the oven and put the timer on. And while that's happening, I will cut up my vegetables for my salad and I have eggs boiling all right with the extras that I have this week a little bit of sausage my mushrooms I have a little bit of peppers I'm gonna make some cheesy cauliflower for like dinner tonight and later in the week and I bought this at the Dollar Tree rice cauliflower I mean it's a 10 ounce bag 
I cooked it in the microwave for six minutes. Oops. And now I need to get it open. But my hand was slippery. I'll just cut it open. And I want to cook it down. It looks just like the regular collie rice I would get at the store. There's some water in here that I don't normally get with my steam pouches. So that's different. Um, and it's a little harder to open. But this steam will definitely, you know, the extra water will cook out. I'll just cook it down before I add anything else. And I'm not adding a lot of seasoning right now because the sausage again is super seasoned and salty but I will let this all cook I'm gonna add cream cheese I'm gonna add a little bit of sharp cheddar my mushrooms here as soon as I cook down this water and get the sausage all cooked but I wanted the cauliflower to cook longer and to taste like the sausage just to give it some flavor but it'll be a nice little dish and that's a great portion of frozen cauliflower rice I would say in the future, what I will do is strain it after I cook it in the microwave. I'll just strain it through a colander before sticking it in my pan. And then I just chopped up these big old mushrooms. And we'll see, maybe I'll get out some seasoning, like some garlic to go in here. But first I gotta cook all this down. But that's a nice little bonus. And again, I've said before a hundred times in my videos, I don't like to waste food, and so if I can transform these mushrooms, the sausage, the rice, the cauliflower, into a different flavor profile that's not lasagna, then I've, I've won this week. You know, I've considered this a good frugal week of trying to cook healthy and low carb for one, and not a lot of processed foods. And that's my goal in life. I mean, sausage is processed, obviously, but it has this brand, which is the Aldi brand, has a minimal of added junk. I don't think there is anything in this that I cannot have. It's pretty clean for sausage and it's only $1.89. So let this cook. I've got about 11 minutes more on my lasagna mushroom caps and then this should all be cooked down. We've got the rice and the mushrooms cooked. I put about a three ounce chunk of cream cheese down in here and now I have some chicken broth. I just need the cream cheese to have somewhere to go. Um, so I threw um, just a couple tablespoons. You kind of really have to eyeball it depending how much cream cheese you've got in here. And you really want it to have a little liquid to it. And I am going to add just a little bit of heavy cream. Um, just to give it that creamy, yummy consistency. You know, creamy yummy. It does need some salt. So I'm going to do that. It needs pepper. So we're going to do that. And you just want to kind of keep stirring it. Cream will curdle on you. You just want to be careful. So I'm going to salt and pepper this pretty liberally. Um, I'm going to show you in a second. The lasagnas came out. They have to sit for a while before I'm going to move them. But I really want this cream cheese to kind of melt. I have it up on like a medium high. And just a little more stock. And then I guess I'll freeze the rest of that stock and use it in the future. Because we don't like to be wasteful. I froze the rest of the tomato sauce too. I will pull that up for some other um meal in the future as well this is just sharp cheddar but you want cheesy it's like mac and cheese but kind of cauliflower -y or funeral potatoes if you're from the midwest those are delicious as well but so i want to melt this all together and this will just be a yummy little late lunch early dinner I suppose it's one o'clock right now but I'm hungry I have not eaten yet well I've snacked a little bit but I haven't really had a meal so I'm hungry I thought this would be perfect while I was waiting on all the food to cook up see there's a piece of cream cheese just gotta let this kind of simmer for a few minutes and let it do its thing 
And this is cheesy cauliflower with sausage and mushrooms. Just a little side cooking. It'll be good for lunches and dinners, like I said. And just let it simmer here for a minute. And then here is the, here we go, around the stove. Uh, I'll have to cut them out. That is the lasagna mushrooms. And I'll show you when I get it out of the pan. But for right now, I want them to kind of set up so I can get them out of there. All right, we're all done. Sorry for the noise in the background. That's my dishwasher. Um, so we have here the stuffed mushroom lasagna, a snack for later in the day, some salt and pepper pork rinds. I have for breakfast two eggs, some salad dressing. These are those Asiago crisps. I use them as croutons on my salad. I have some cheese for breakfast with my hard boiled eggs and a salad that's cucumber and cut up bell pepper with some salad mix. So lunch is salad and the lasagna, breakfast is eggs and cheese, and my snack today will be some pork rinds. And that is everything. I really hope you enjoy and you have a good one. Bye.